In this episode, we go to San Juan La Union, the surfing capital of the north. So makai ko sa Farinas bus. We were so lucky with this bus. Sobrang bait ng mga drivers nila. Thank you, And best of all, they let us bring milk up. Meron din empanada sa bus station. So we can eat while waiting. Ang ganda ng bus. It was super comfortable. And we see our path. So join us as we hop on a bus going to the Union. Hello! So we are on our way to Cubao because we are hopping on a bus to go to La Union today. Let's go! So I just received the phone call from Farinas. Sobrang cool kasi tumatawag sila sa phone ko to check if nasaan na kami or if we'll be arriving there by 8.30. Siguro it's a way for them to check yung mga pasayero nila kung on the way na or kung kailangan pa itayin. So that's really awesome. It's a good way to remind them na hello, may boss kayo para to keep everyone on time. That's awesome. I really like that. Okay, you guys, we made it in Cubao. And kapag nandito talaga sa Cubao, kailangan mag-ingat sa dami ng mga bus terminals dito. So make sure you are in the right one. Nagkamali pa kami, so we had to walk. Uh, hello po. Hello. Woo! I think that's our bus. Ito na yun. Whew. So we made it just in time pag alis ng bus. Oh my God, so proud of that. You know, you have it. When we get there, we will be back. We will not be able to wait for them. Before heading off to La Union, we have a stopover in Sampaloc, Manila. Because that's where we're picking up some of the other passengers. That's good. We will eat it. We will be so proud of that. Ready? I think she is the most ready to eat. Okay, so what's beautiful here on this bus? Meron din siyang CR. And, wala kaming problems bringing Milka on board. Super blessing in this guys ng Farinas. Kasi originally, we were supposed to take part as. Kaya lang, ang dami hinihingi nilang requirements for Milka's documents. Hingi sila ng parang animal transport that will come from Bureau of Animal Ganyan that we have to get pa from Diliman. It's gonna be a nightmare processing and getting all those documents. So I checked another line na pwedeng dumaan papuntang La Union and then I found Farinas. So when I checked that when I checked yung lawag dadaan din pa lang La Union. Then I checked kung ano yung requirements na needed for for Milka. And then ang hiningi lang ng requirements is the vaccination cards and the dapat naka diaper. So we were so happy. So just to be clear, itong bus na sinakyan namin is the Farinas bus going to Lawang. Hindi siya na papuntang La Union talaga. But it does go by La Union. So doon kami pababa sa La Union. I really, really love these seats. Kahit na four in a row. Ang spacious niya. like the seats of this bus because first of all may hawakan siya here so super comfy niyan and then may step port siya dito sa ilalim yeah and then also you can recline this one kung matatulog ka na and yung armrest niya is removable so if you wanna go out you just move it down tapos labas ka na pero pag matatulog ka na you put it here para you're in place tapos so nice Hindi lang kasi yung backpack ni Ed sa feet niya. Pero since si Milka is here with us, no problem. So another thing I really like is that there is ample, ample place to put your stuff. Yung overhead compartment niya. Spacious. Hindi lang siya yung parang sobrang tight in the space. So we are here in the Farinha station and we have a lot of empanada here so we're gonna try it and we're gonna try it because the bus driver and conductor 
Sobrang sarap daw nito. So I'm super excited to try it. Kukulukulu pa sa mantika. Alam mo, masarap talaga to. Favorite ko pa naman yung Ilocos Empanada. Masarap ang ngayon. Masarap sa empanada. Sobrang daming suka. Sarap. Naiingit ako habang kinakain mo. It's so good. Sarap na daw. Super inan niya. Bagong hahon. Thank you po. Thank you po. Bagong hahon from the Kawali. So little known fact, si Ed's ang super super favorite niya talaga is empanada. He loves Ilocos empanada. Mm. Masarap niya. Mm. Tama lang yung balance ng meat, saka ng bread and meat, saka yung longganisa. Masarap niya. Masarap niya. Legit. <laughs> oh my gosh. That was such a good meal na Ed and I ended up ordering one more eat. So Thank for you. me, I got an, a one without the meat naman. Si Ed's got another. Baon ko to eh, kaya lang kinakain ko na. Oopsie! <laughs> Ay, nako. Sarap ko ako. Hindi ko napigilan. Hindi ko napigilan, nag number two ako. Sigurado mo metro ko kung ito sa ano. Biyahe pa punta doon. Favorite ko sa ito? There's one thing na natutunan ko ma-appreciate is eating the food near the bus stations. And it's always really, really good. It's a warm meal before going on the bus, falling asleep, and that's just, ah, oh, sarap. Mm. but it has everything that you might need and that includes the toilet and a small sink and there's toilet paper oh my god there's also like a little handrail para if in case the bus is moving oh yay i'm so happy it's so clean Dun ba ako to just stretch out a little bit and check out to see if there's food and some snacks. Yeah. 
Thank you, Kuya. Ay, wait lang. Wait. <laughs> yes! We made it! Oh my god! It is what? 2.30 a.m. So aga na namin, guys! What do we do now? <laughs> oh my gosh! I think we need to walk? <laughs> yeah! So the host said that uh, from here we can actually walk to the place. I'm guessing it's a five minute walk. So let's go, let's go along. Well, they, they do know that we are arriving early. So I think they're just gonna charge a little bit more per hour. But it's fine. Because we are really going to come here. Okay. So it actually says 150 meters away. Super lapit lang nun. <laughs> oh, that is such a relief. Oh my gosh, akala ko we were are dropped off in the middle of nowhere. So I guess it's just a short, short walk going to our homestay for this trip. Amazing. Hopefully they are awake. <laughs> okay, so our bus ride was so fast. Kasi halos walang tao talagang nakasakay doon sa bus. And normally, sabi nung driver was, magpe-pick up and drop off sila ng mga tao. But there was really none. I think it's only one guy that came on. So, in short, super duper lucky namin with that bus. But that also means we are so ahead of our schedule. Which is good and bad. The good thing is, we're here. The bad thing is, we have no idea where we are. Oh. Grabe! Okay, so puro trucks and puro buses na dumadaan. Buta na lang may sidewalk dito. Oh my god! So according to ways, we are 30 meters away. Malapit na yun. Super near. Oh, did you see it? We have to cross the street now, so it's a little bit scared, so let's do it very, very fast. Ooh. Oh my gosh! <laughs> I think this is it. Yep. Yes! We made it! Wow! Hi, good morning. So we're here, we're here in South Road. I think he's going on. Oh my gosh, we are so, so close. I kind of feel bad if we woke them up early, but sorry. The bus was so fast, you guys. Ibang klase yung bilis ng bus na yun. So do you think... It's, it, it's good kasi we're right actually in the middle of the road. So very accessible siya when we're gonna go places. And it's near yung mga other um, go-to places around here. But we just cannot see anything right now kasi it is 2.30 a.m. Ayana, oh my gosh! Hello, po. Sorry, po. Kapag yung ano, yung yung tricycle, yung ano namin bus. <laughs> Just carry her, baby. She's a little scared. This is a nice. Okay. Good pick up, good pick up. <laughs> nice. Okay, so give it, give us a little tour first. So welcome to our room. This is an air conditioned room, and we have a king bed. So kasha kasha, and then here we have the toilet and bath. They also have a heater and a bidet. 
So they actually informed us that they don't provide towels, so we brought our own. And they also have huge closet space for all of our stuff. This part is actually very useful for me because I work at nights. And I can just plug right here for the laptop and then I can just do some editing while we're here. So it's actually a really nice place. They also have a veranda. For Super the... small but I think it would be best for drying clothes or like uh, getting some fresh air. <laughs> so if you can't tell already, we're very, very, very happy with this room. Super suited nya. And it's really one of the cheaper ones that we could find here in the area. Pero sobrang sulit because of everything that you get. Most of the rooms kasi na makukuha mo in La Union is parang box style, ganun, within the same budget. So yeah, this is one of those rooms that's super, super steel. And the good thing is, meron din silang shared common area. It's a shared kitchen. So we can use it if we need some stuff like coffee in the morning. So I'm a bit hungry. Do you want to check out the common area? This is the dining area and the kitchen. You can actually cook rice. But that's awesome. And complete lots of plates, cups, saucers. And they have a refrigerator. So you can actually put some stuff in. Best part, water and hot water, cold water. So this is really gonna be perfect for us because I need coffee in the morning. Hindi ko kaya mag-function without the coffee in the morning. Let's eat! So I really love this place. Meron siyang super duper homey feel. And they really, really love places like that. So I'm super happy that we found this. Okay, so now I'm just having a snack because the pago food is a biaya. Uh, but the biaya was really, really fast, which was awesome. We expected to arrive here around 5 o'clock, but we are already, but we got here at 3. So that was really good. I'm getting the bus now. And probably just gonna get some rest to have adventures tomorrow. Milka is tired and so are we. We are so ready for bed. They have a mini store. Yeah. So you can actually purchase some stuff and just put your payment here. So now I'm going to get chocolate and cookies. They also have like their own stuff to sell. Yung mga sile and oatmeal cookies and chili garlic oil. So let's check that out tomorrow. Hey love! Milka! <laughs> 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 right to sleep. Wow. Yeah. Big bed, huh? Yeah. Actually <laughs> super big at the bed. Okay, babe. So, if you were to change stuff that we did today, what would you change? Actually, the trip went pretty smooth, huh? Uh, I will probably... No, I'm not gonna change anything. <laughs> <laughs> because the, the trip was so fast, the oh, was so fast. And then we got here so fast, and then I'm by the drivers, I'm by the bus line. And it was a very, very happy ride. I would probably just book direct in Sampaloc, Manila, already kesa magkubaw pa. Kasi 9.30 yung alis sa Sampaloc and it would have given us some more time to prepare at home. Rather than habulin yung kubaw, tapos pupunta pa ng Sampaloc yung bus anyway. Because apparently, most ng pailokos na bound na buses are coming from Manila anyway. So I think that's the only thing I would change. You know? The, the bus ride, sobrang perfect. It was really perfect for me. And we really lucked out na konting tao lang yung nandun. I really, really think super lucky namin. Wala masyadong bumaba, wala masyadong sumakay. So, yeah, I'm very, very happy about that. And I'm falling asleep. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so I guess we'll end the vlog here. We'll see you guys on the next one. Bye! Bye.
So I've always liked beef rendang. Wow. Super ganda rin talaga ng sunset. Love it. I think I might be ready for a cocktail soon. Okay, cheers lang. Cheers. Ay, punong puno. <laughs> punong puno nga eh. Oh, that's pretty good. <laughs>